Hey, what to do, y'all? What to do? So from what I've gathered, the nice guy is actually the righteous man. And if you look up righteous, it'll say things like righteous means morally right, justifiable, virtuous. So basically, you're a person of morals. Or you could just look at it this way. One that does things that are right. Yes, one that does things that are right. So that kind of gives you an idea about what righteous means. But there is a problem with that idea of being righteous. <laughs> you may run into a female that's not a woman, fellas, and she may see you as unrighteous, you know, because she thinks that you're just being right from your perspective, not hers. So she doesn't agree with some of your morals or some of the things you feel righteous or justifiable or justified about per se. Yeah, she she doesn't agree with she doesn't agree with uh, what you see as righteous. She doesn't agree with what you see as moral or justifiable. You know, she she doesn't like your justifications. And this kind of leads to certain things down the road that I want to talk about that kind of lead to some of the nice guys no longer being nice. But I'll talk about that as time goes on, given the date of this video. Now, this video today is kind of stemmed from the podcast I did a podcast that was titled Nice Guys Have Greener Grass, which was kind of like the unpopular opinion about the whole idea of greener grass on the other side. Just go into my playlist and check out the playlist titled Nice Guy 2.0 and you'll see that video where I talked about nice guys have greener grass. Now, I'll continue on here. My thing is, you know, um, she doesn't like your righteousness. No, she don't like your righteousness, bro. Um, and see, a lot of it can be stemmed from the, uh, you, you know, you went through some immoral things in your life. And so it's led to some of your morality. And that's great. That's great because you're not trying to be immoral. But see, everybody grows up differently. They see things differently. So unfortunately, she does too. Because you got to remember, like the feminine gender in this westernized society has had the privilege of being exposed to society, being able to kind of say what they want, do what they want. All the social media they're around, listening to a lot of different musics and radio stations and just exposures to a lot of different things. So that's led to a lot of the way she thinks. She may think that you take things a little bit too seriously at times. You know, there may be things that she thinks you overreact about. So even a lot of things you're passionate about. Yeah, a lot of things that you're passionate about, she may feel like in some ways, like you need to calm down, like you need to, you know, so in essence, the righteous man starts to deal with a lot of those who have no empathy. So you have to learn as a righteous man not to show sympathy for those who don't have empathy. Because like I've said before, one aspect of female nature is the lack of empathy. 